Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Capricorns. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is going to be secrets revealed about your love interest. And we're going to ask the universe things that you really need to know in regards to this person, who you're really dealing with and things of that nature. So we're just going to pick up on things. If you're interested in hearing what I have to say, stick around. Also, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Crystal. This is Mystical Crystal Tarot. I do tarot readings here and we get into some things. So if you are interested in seeing my future readings, for one, you have to hit the subscribe button so that you can get notified when I post um, as well as like the video. When you guys like the video, it lets the algorithm also know to notify you when I post videos as well. Okay. We're going to get straight into it. Um, if you do want more of a personal reading, because this is general as well, um, I do offer readings. My information will be below. And you can also get 20% off your first reading with me by joining our emailing list or by taking our Zodiac quiz for the Zodiac sign of ca uh, Capricorns. I almost said Cancer. But we're talking about Capricorns, okay? <laughs> that information will be listed below. All right, so Capricorns. What is some secrets that my Capricorns need revealed in regards to the person they have romantic or love interest for? For June 2020, let's see. Okay. So let's get into it. So Capricorns. Okay, if this is somebody who you're on a slight break from or you've really been at odds with this individual for some time as far as like pettiness, petty arguments, fighting about things that really just aren't that important. This person really does appreciate you putting up with them and them being petty sometimes. Like they know sometimes that they take things too far. They're very aware of that. Um and they really appreciate you still standing by them, even when they are pretty much hard to deal with in a sense. Okay. Some of you, this person does get in like, you know, moments of having a short temper. And for a lot of you guys, surprisingly, you guys are able to, um, combat that or not let that affect you and how you deal with this individual as well. Okay. Um, I do feel like also for some of you, if you are somebody who has, help them help them financially in any sort of way and this could be somebody who's like a recent ex um or somebody who you may even have children with this person also appreciates you also being their backbone when financially they didn't have it like this person may have been struggling at the time you help them it, it doesn't have to be like astronomical amounts of money you may have just helped them out with like $20 or something like that, where they may have really needed it at the moment more than you may understand. And they appreciate the fact that you may have a gentle heart when it comes to being somebody who's just caring and always there to listen and give sound advice, not advice based off of just what emotionally will make this person feel better, but sound advice. Okay. This person also feels as if In a love sense, um, they've had it hard. So this person likes to really deal with people who wear their heart on their sleeve, where they can kind of get where you're coming from, or they could kind of sense where your feelings lie for them versus somebody who, you know, isn't that communicative. Is that a word? Yeah. Communicative in regards to their feelings. So they appreciate it when you guys wear your heart on your sleeve. Some of you, they would like you to wear your heart more on your sleeve because they may feel like sometimes they don't really know where they stand with you emotionally. Um, I also feel like now if this is, again, somebody who you're not talking to right now, this person, I do feel as if they are a little defensive towards the breakup. I don't think that they really want the breakup. Or for you guys to not be communicating anymore. 
they may be acting very just like, oh, I don't care. And just in their ego, especially if there's a male that we're talking about, definitely in their ego right now. So if a man is, you know, telling you, oh, I don't want to talk to you right now. He he's being in his ego, not saying just keep trying to like talk to this person, but understand the person's in their ego. Understand this person is just putting on a, a, a face of being strong and all of that. OK, but this person cares I feel like also see their problem is this person may also be defensive because of what happened in their past um, a cycle of lessons that they may have had to learn with other connections or even specifically one connection um, in particular where things ended but the lessons quite never went away in regards to what this person may have experienced so they put up this, like this guard. So you never really get a chance to penetrate like what's really, or what, what their true feelings are or where they really truly stand because this person is so defensive because of their past experiences. If you guys had your own fear of experiences with each other as well, this person may also be defensive because of that. Even though they care about you, it's just like, yeah, we've gone through some stuff. <laughs> and I think it has really impacted this person as well. Hmm. Some of you, this is a Leo specifically I'm picking up on. This, see, this person tries to put on this front like, oh, I, I know my worth and I know what I will put up with and what I won't. But sometimes this person kind of wavers in regards to like their own personal feelings and how they they want to kind of display their love for other people. So I do feel like this person is literally struggling with like some ego stuff. Or just getting a grip on exactly what they're looking for romantically. Um, I also get this energy as well. See, the problem here is this person has destructive behaviors at time. And for a lot of you, like the warning here with this individual is that this person has some learning to do with these destructive actions that they may take. They may do things they don't really think about, like the outcome in regards to how that's going to affect the relationship, how it's going to affect them. Um, and this person does struggle with doing certain things that are, are out of alignment with being in relationships. I also feel like this person is very paranoid. <laughs> Some of you, this person is very paranoid because... They may have missed certain signs in the past where the person may have been cheating on them or the person may have been just um, keeping their true feelings to themselves. And when they should have picked up on it and, you know, later on down the line, it was just too late and things unfolded the way that it did. This is this person realizing, oh, shoot, I really do need to make sure I'm using my intuition more and that I'm on my P's and Q's and that now puts them in this like very paranoid energy sometimes because they never really know. Like I said, they feel like they don't really know where you stand emotionally. Sometimes they feel like they don't know where people stand emotionally just in general in their love life. So they have to kind of go into the space of just, all right, well, my intuition is telling me this. So I believe it. Right now, this person is going to going through a space of introspection to figure out how they're going to take action to make this connection seem worthwhile for them overall. Now, if you do still have this person in your life, I do see that this person does appreciate you. This person wants to close that cycle of you guys having defensiveness towards each other or very just like brutal arguments where, you know, one person or both of you guys kind of cut deep. Um, they're really scared to go date other people because they feel like that's just going to automatically be a disaster. And they would really like to focus in on this connection and making it more worthwhile. OK, 
okay? And that's for my people who are still talking to this person. But this is what I'm seeing, Capricorns. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss any of my readings in the future. Or if you don't like this video, you're literally not going to get notified. So make sure you smash the like button. Again, if you want a personal reading, check out my information below so you can get 20% off your first reading with me by joining our emailing list or taking the Zodiac quiz for Capricorns. And I will see you in the next one.